talk to the people. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, my name is Carrie, and Greg asked me to say a few words about my experience driving the RV haulers. People want to know if I drive the truck. I talk to a lot of ladies and their husbands as well who say, do you actually drive them? And yes, I do. I drive it almost as much as Greg does. We take turns driving and it makes our uh, traveling quite a bit easier because we get a break and we can even uh, on those long trips have a little nap in the back while the other driver is at the wheel. I drove our one ton truck a lot as well and I found after three hours or four hours your wrists are sore, my arms were tired because pulling the truck and trailer with the load that we pack I was I was tired and I was stressed from gripping the wheel and if you had to pass somebody trying to hope you had enough steam to get by them before the passing lane ended. We go camping and I've been camping um, I camped with my family growing up and uh, driving a truck and camper pulling a boat and after marrying Greg, he likes to camp as well, and Greg packs a lot of stuff. We kind of joke about how much stuff Greg likes to pack, including the kitchen sink, and perhaps we'll be able to insert a picture here for you. So going on the trips that we do and bringing all the toys that we bring, our truck managed, but it wasn't an easy trip. When Greg suggested we should get a bigger truck, like an RV hauler, I thought, you're kidding, right? Um, they're so big. And I was like, you know, we don't need that truck. But after he pointed out to me all the benefits that we would have, I thought, okay, well, we'll try it. And Greg got us our first RV hauler, and I was uh, driving that, and it was quite easy to drive. I was surprised and the size of it when you first think about it it seems big but after driving it it's actually I mean yes it's taller but it's not that much bigger than driving the one ton truck that I was driving and you're just so much comfort more comfortable behind the wheel and the visibility that you have on the road being higher up is so much more relaxing. You can see the cars in front of you and who's braking and I even recall driving in the rain one time and how you could see so much further with that weather beating on your windshield compared to when you had more uh, spray from the vehicles in front of you. Just uh, felt so much safer with uh, the distance you could see. Uh, when the trailer's hooked up and we're just starting on the road you don't feel all that weight behind you. The truck just, you know, starts accelerating and it purrs along at a nice easy pace. With our old truck, you could really feel the weight and you could feel it pulling and you knew you had a big load on behind. But with this truck, it's like it's not there. Um, you're going up and down hills without feeling the, the steady pull. It's just got so much strength and power that you're very comfortable. Last year when we came home from our fishing trip we left to catch a ferry at 4 in the morning and we got home that night at 10 o'clock so we drove many hours that day and when we got home we felt good still. We felt we could still drive a couple hours, not that we wanted to, but the drive was so much easier than previous years and we got home and we watched a movie and we weren't stressed. We weren't snapping at each other like we've done in the past because we're just tired and exhausted. It was a good experience. You may be wondering about the size of the truck and how you go for groceries in it and how you move, move around you know, when you're camped in your camp spot and your trailer's unhooked. I take this truck to the grocery store, I take the kids to the swimming pool, I take them to the beach in it, and I'm very comfortable doing that. Yes, you do park at the back of the parking lot, but I did that with our pickup truck as well, 
just to get a spot big enough. It's not like you're driving a small car, so that really didn't change for us. In fact, we had our deep freeze on the back of the truck on the deck. And when I came out of the grocery store with my frozen goods, I could just put them in there. I didn't have to worry about them defrosting on the way back to the campground. My favorite thing about the truck is the size of the fuel tanks. We fill up where we know the price is cheaper and we go on our long trip and then we come back and we can fill up again at that same place. We don't have to worry about where are we going to get fuel, how much is it going to cost and paying a premium because we're uh, traveling to places where it costs more to get their fuel shipped there. I've even driven a stage of six hours where I was uh, driving for a while and then the kids fell asleep in the back and we didn't want to stop because we didn't want to wake them up. And I was able to do that because I was comfortable and Greg enjoyed it as well because he, he also got a nice long break to do what he likes to do in the passenger seat which might involve napping. I really like using the engine brake. It is so comfortable going downhill and not having to use the vehicle brakes or the brake pedal. We just adjust the engine brake to match the speed that we want to go and it holds back the weight of the truck with no concerns. We get our gas mileage is as good or even better than it was with our one ton truck. It may depend on how much weight you're pulling. The first time I drove our first RV hauler, we just went around the neighborhood here. Greg took me on a little 10 minute test drive and that's all it took to get comfortable. It wasn't a lot different than driving a pickup. You've got your gas pedal and your brake pedal and I was surprised at how it shifted. I was surprised how comfortable it was. and. The turning radius was amazing. We could get out of a tight spot really easily. I've said it a few times, but I'm very comfortable driving the trucks. And, you know, other ladies can drive it too. It's not hard. Your husband doesn't have to drive it for you. And if you want to come and go for a test drive with uh, just the ladies, we can do that. I'm happy to do that with you. Come and drive it and see what you think. It's not as scary as you might first think when you're looking at these trucks, but it doesn't take very long to get comfortable. Driving these trucks is fun. It's uh, different. You know, there's not a lot of, we don't come across a lot of other people who are driving these We're in the places that we go and everyone's pretty amazed and um, we get a lot of people coming to talk to us about, about the truck. In summary, I'm glad that Greg talked me into getting an RV hauler. I like driving it. I feel safe on the highway. I, like I mentioned, we can see better. We don't have to worry about where to fuel, fuel up. We have excellent engine braking. We have excellent power for pulling our loads. We're able to pass vehicles if we need to. And it's comfortable. The kids enjoy riding in it. They've got leg room. They can move around a little bit if they need to. The dog has room on the floor and it's just more comfortable. It's safer and it's fun to drive.